Welcome back, everybody, to another Squadcast. Hello, Gabo. What's up, Doc? How are you doing? Good, and you? I like your I like your shirt. Really? It's beautiful. All right. It's very good. Hey, Gabo, we got a question today from someone that watches the show. Right. And the question comes to us from, it looks like Evil Doge King. And they say, if you guys created a video game, what genre would it be? Would you guys have a unique idea? Do you want to go first? Uh, yeah. Sure, go for it. Let's hear it. If you were creating a game, Gabo, what are you going to do? Uh, I would do like, uh, like the last... Near, I don't know if you played that game. Near Automata? Yeah. Uh, because that game is amazing. Because okay. it's a mix of a couple of games in one. Okay. So it's a shoot em up, shoot em up, it's a beat em up. But I would do it like a third person shooter, cover base, and also first person. Got it. Okay. Do you so the, the Rainbow Six games? Yes. Probably something like that. Okay. I like that. But a uh, horror game. I would do a horror game. So it'd be in that vein, but it would be, are we talking survival horror feel or are we talking more like Resident Evil feel? Uh, more like... Or gore. Action gore horror game. Just go straight to it. Got it. Are open we talking like, open world or linear? No. Old school like stage. Got like, it. I would say something like Doom. Okay. I love campaigns, first person. I love good stories. Yeah. And something like that. Cover base, horror, first person, and third person. Got it. I and like it that. Has to be gore. It has to be gore. It has to be gory. So you're yeah. going for gore. Yeah. And bloody, like when you shoot something or somebody out, and it has to be. It has to be a good story, I already say that, but it has to be a mix that killing people and killing monsters. So, okay, so a mix of bad bad people and bad yeah. monsters, non-human yeah, race. With, with twists in the story. Got it, okay, I like that. Um, for me, if I had to pick something, I've actually thought about this before. Um, I used to kind of daydream about playing games like this, uh, an example that I have that's not not really the same, but kind of what I'm thinking. So there's a game that I've talked about before called The Adventures of Pip. And basically, oh, yeah. and you evolve from a, a single pixel, then you progress to an 8-bit character to a 16-bit sprite. Now that's great, that's awesome, but I've always wanted a game, you know games like uh, the new, uh, what was it, not Wonder Boy and the Dragon's Trap? Uh, you know how you can switch between the graphics? Well, you're gonna love the messenger. Well, what I want is what I want is a game that you you play right, and say you're playing, and it's like a almost like a Super Mario World style graphics, right? And you're playing, and you're playing, but I'm talking to where when you see a boss battle, your guy like morphs, right, like into like, and it does like a full like spin effect, and it goes into I'm talking like a full on Shadow of the Colossus, Xbox Ooh. Series X, full high graphics i mean as gnarly next gen graphics as you can get something like uh, mario odyssey in so stages like i'm talking i'm talking i mean almost like that. crazy crazy graphics the graphic differences are almost insane i want it to be like where you're like literally super mario world and it's you're the same character obviously i don't want it to be mario but when you go to a boss battle or to fight something specific like when you go into a certain world you morph and like when it's time for you to fight you turn into like a 3d mario 64 or nintendo 64 style graphics but i want each genre to be so changeable at yeah. the point when you get there i don't think i necessarily want it where you can change it on the fly i want it where the game changes on the fly but i'm talking like from the most power up huh oh, like a special power up yeah even like something like that like to where when it's that time the game knows okay this is where you when you change but i've always wanted a game where i think the adventure of pip the game that i was talking about which i was playing until it, it stops playing i'll let mm -hmm. it play again just so there's something to look at but um that game kind of got my idea that that flowing in my brain of like upgrading to like you know 8-bit 16-bit whatever or do but i want higher like a higher jump from 8-bit to 
this generation that to this fun. generation and i'm talking like the full ray tracing series x ps5 as much power as you can get to where even if you take damage right how cool would this be right if a boss goes to fight you and you're full rendered hd graphics and when he punches you boom you take damage and you turn to 16 bit that would be awesome and then you get hit again you go to 8 bit then you get hit again and you're like a pixel you know what i mean i, I think the closest we got and again like that is mario odyssey because he's uh what is the the real world new no, donk city yeah, when, when you what is the new donk 10, city 10, 1080p and he goes to 8 bit yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a high jump there yeah but for example in the messenger you jump from 8 to 16 bit and when you play you're gonna see that and the stage the music the enemies everything change yeah i love that game it's really good I think I'll be playing that probably tomorrow because it just came out on uh, Game Pass. And free? Where? On Xbox Game Pass. I'm sad that I bought it on Switch. You know, I don't, I don't, I will not say I, I waste 20 bucks. Yeah. But I know it's going to look better and play better on the Xbox One. So, yeah. I'm going to play it again. Play it again. Yeah, but I'm curious. I want to know this is such a unique topic because really. Uh, good question. Thank you. What was the name? Evil Doge King. And yeah, I'm curious what the people have to say too. So if you if you guys have any ideas uh, out there, let us know what your thoughts are. If you have any cool ideas, because uh, we'd love to hear them. This is such a unique topic. That there can be so many avenues. Also, also you can talk about uh, Rifo's hair. What's wrong with my hair? Oh, nothing. At least you have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all right, Gabo. We love you. <laughs> all right well, that's it for today there's an announcement coming soon <laughs> ball bull all right <laughs> all right man adios bye later bye.